is actually very simple. There is a provision in the bill that um, will register minors to vote, 16 and 17 year olds, to be able to pre-register to vote. This amendment will simply prevent that pre-registration for minors who have com committed a felony. Three weeks ago, on the House floor, I noted um, a memo. I had just, literally while we were sitting on the floor, I read a news article about a memo from Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty. And in that memo, she, uh, she noted changes that she was making to juveniles uh, being... Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Representative Long, state your point of order. Uh, Mason's 124 personalities are not the subject for debate. Mary Moriarty is not the subject of the debate. The subject of the debate is the A23 amendment. Let me tell you point about order, that Mr. Speaker. memo. Representative Long. This to Mr. Speaker, point of order. Representative Long, state your point of order. Mr. Speaker, uh, the member. Their sentencing will be done in two years. They'll be on probation. And as we've already decided in this chamber, and by we, I mean the Democrats in this chamber, have already decided that we're not going to hold people accountable. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Representative Long, state your point of order. Well, I think Representative New Brindley knows perfectly well my point of order. Very clear that he does not anticipate Point of order, Mr. Asking. Speaker. Representative New Brindley, here's what I like about your amendment, is that it is a proactive, preventative measure that says, as Representative Hudson just said, if a person is convicted of a felony, then they cannot be pre-registered to vote. And I think that's what Representative New Brindley was trying to get across in the beginning of her, her, her presentation of the amendment before she was interrupted persistently or relevantly.